So hello everybody. Uh, I need to take the, the mic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Hello. Oh, yeah. Yes, it works. No. Yes. But uh, I have to. Oh, maybe. No. Hello. Oh. <laughs> so good afternoon, everybody. My name is Lou Gertz, and I. Uh, Develop web application on the Vital IT group of the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics in Switzerland. And I work on the source data project with Thomas since the beginning. And I'm here to try to integrate the text mining tool Puptator in the creation pipeline of source data. So, as Thomas explains in this presentation, source data is designed to annotate figures representing experiments by tagging the entities of the figure legends. These entities are characterized by mainly two properties, the type from small molecules to organism linked to identifier of official database like NCBI genes or Uniprot and the second property is the role, like intervention or essay, allowing to represent the hypothesis of the experiment. For example, in this figure, does the insulin influence on the concentration of the glucose? This relation, intervention, and essay allow to create an oriented graph and, <laughs> sorry. and this graph representing linked links between experiments and all entities are normalized on official databases. So to, to obtain this high quality network, the paper are manually curated according this process. First, firstly, paper are loaded on the creation interface with in XML or Word data, Word format. Then each figure is split into panels where one panel represents a single experiment and then the curator should tag tags all the entities of the figure legend. This process takes around four hours per paper to annotate all figures and tag entities of all figures. This is the system to tag a panel, so curators should select the word on the legend and assign a type and a wall using this 2D picker or you can also using some shortcuts. And then there is a normalization steps where source data proposes a list of entities depending on the text and on the type. Mm -hmm. So here, for example, for P53, it's a protein, so source data gets a list of Uniprot IDs sorting, sorted by the relevance, <coughs> and if uh, is, if this entity has already been tagged with this ID, it will rank and at the top. So data proposes also a description of the entities, and the for some types like gene or protein, you can assign a species to the tag to help the the suggestion of source data. Because sometimes, for for example, for P53, there is there is either ID for mouse, for human, and also and here if this tag is related to mus musculus, it will propose the the ID of the mouse. So to help the creation, we develop pre-tagging systems. So if uh, world of the legend are already been already been tagged in other previous papers. It will be appear as with a dash border, and the curator just have to confirm or delete this pre-tag. When it confirm, it the type and the role are assigned, and the 
the external ID as suggested. But this protagging system is quite simple and we have to improve it. That's why we tried two text mining tools a few months ago. Potato developed by the NCBI and the Young, and BKS developed by uh, the University of Aveiro in Portugal. And we test these tools on and compare the results with those data types. This, uh, this is the, the results only on gene and protein entities. And you saw that Potato found um, around half of types of source data and Peptito find also some tags, tags who, where source data don't really tag maybe it's a, it's a for it's a missing uh, it, some <laughs> sorry so maybe source data don't tag in because it was not relevant, or maybe source data miss these entities. Uh, we don't really know. Uh, you see that source that because it's a little worse than potato, but uh, because it, it's found lots of tags that are not in source data. Both of these tools um, find the entity and propose an external ID. But the normalization with BCAS is done only with human version of the ID, whereas Pepteto is able to give in parameter um, a species and uh, assign the good external ID. That's why we will try to integrate Pepteto as a pre tag system, in, um, in addition or, or pre tagging system, to, to help and to improve and to reduce the creation time, maybe to from four hours to three hours, but it's not a big, a big, a big difference. But it can it can be more scalable. So to conclude, we want to we really want to reduce this creation time, and maybe more publisher can integrate source data in the publishing process, and. It will increase the number of publication and experiment with linked data in order to tape into the dark matter of figure annotation. So, sorry for my stress, and <laughs> I would like uh, acknowledge the organizer to inviting me and uh, the EMBO and both of Vital IT and Swissport Group of the SIP. Thanks.